everyone. Welcome to James River Ted Ed Club. This morning we'll be hearing from Taylor McCabe. Hi everyone, today my TED Talk is in the form of a video. I hope you all enjoy. How you should be watching the news. No matter which news station or outlet is your preference, there is one thing that they all have in common. Their goal to keep citizens informed on what is going on in our community, country, and world. The news roll all day, seven days a week, and are constantly breaking news stories. In my house, the news is always playing on a TV somewhere. My mom loves to stay informed and keep up with current events as they happen throughout the day. The news reports on various topics, but many times they focus on negative content to keep the public interested. Because of this, Countless disastrous stories such as shootings, kidnappings, and bombings have been aired. They are so common that it becomes normal to see stories about these horrific events on the news every single day. They begin to lack significance in our conscience and people begin to become numb to stories that should be shocking. While there may be no name coined for this phenomenon, I call this news desensitization which I define as the emotional disconnect that occurs when tragic news stories become common. And we stop feeling empathetic for the disastrous issues occurring in our community, country, and world. The problem with this is that when we stop feeling we stop fighting for a change. On February 14th, 2018, there was a shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. I remember getting a notification on my phone from BuzzFeed informing me of the shooting. My mom was sitting next to me and I said, oh, that's sad, there was another school shooting. But then, I quickly realized five of my close friends from URJ Camp Coleman attend Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, and my entire outlook changed immediately. I started crying and panicking to make sure all my friends were safe. Seventeen lives are lost, one being a member of my camp community, Alyssa Alhadef. This had a major impact on my life. I was emotional reading every article, seeing every interview, and scrolling through every social media post I saw about the shooting. I realized the emotion that exists behind every news story, whether it be joyful or mournful, felt by the people involved. And when I saw news reports on other types of tragedies, I remembered to feel for the people involved. On April 20th, 1999, almost exactly 20 years ago, the first major school shooting in America occurred at Columbine High School, and the country was distraught. 13 students were killed, and as my mom recalls, it was plastered all over the news, and it was all anyone could talk about. According to the Washington Post, since Columbine, there have been 220 school shootings, with 128 people killed, and 266 people injured. Although many of these stories did not make national news, the common occurrence of these shootings caused many people to react more casually when they happened. They became more of a passing topic of conversation at dinner instead of a shocking issue that must be addressed. On February 15, 2018, the day after the Parkland shooting, I arrived at school feeling unsafe and expecting one of my teachers or the announcements to say something anything about the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. However, it was never brought up. People have become so desensitized to the news of school shootings that the Parkland shooting did not come up in one conversation that I had while I was at school that day, which is unlike how Columbine was constantly discussed in the days that followed it. Something needs to be done to show the public that even though tragic stories are reported a lot, they are not acceptable. We as a community need to overcome news desensitization by remembering to feel for people involved in the reports because emotion and empathy invoke change. 
Because of the strong feelings I had for change on the topic that altered my outlook on the world, I started to advocate for school safety and gun violence whenever I got the chance, and I attended March for Our Lives in D.C. to support the cause I'm passionate about. I did all this because I felt, and I encourage you to let emotions through in watching the news because when people care, problems start to get solved. I hope you all learned something new. Thank you.